Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 27th of July. Every day I look, just look at one of our signals from our members area and put it together on the chart. So in, in the members area, our members get potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. And they also get short fifth wave trade, potential short fifth wave trades on those same time frames. And then we look at... Uh, intraday stochastic longs and stochastic shorts. Look at the long fifth wave trades today. So members simply click on the image for today, July the 27th and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today looks something like this. Uh, these are the potential long trades on the daily time frame. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see the weekly tabs and the 60 minute. We're not concentrating on the daily today. I'm looking at public storage PSA for potential long uh, fifth wave move. So let's have a look at the chart. So I'm using the wave5trade.com Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader NT8 platform. It's also available for multi charts, TradeStation, and Think or Swim. For those members that have our indicator suite, our isolation is pretty simple at these lows here. Then we get these ABC corrections and then we really start on the trend, and our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite automatically labels all of this. Uh, we've got the ABCs, the one, two, three, and then the wave four pullback. And that's what we're interested at this moment in time, that wave four pullback. Let's talk about those three basic filters again. I do remind everybody every day what they are, but they're important. Uh, so the first filter is that we've had a pullback against the main trend. So we've had this wave four pullback and it's found support in our amber zone of our probability zones here. That gives us an 80% probability if it goes up, if it goes away from this wave four low to make a new wave five high. And we're looking around about $240 into our automated target zone here in blue. The second filter is the 535 oscillator here. This has pulled back between 19 and 140%. So this measures the performance of that wave four pullback. And so far, this looks pretty good. We're finding good support. We're pulled back between 19 and 140%. And then thirdly, our stochastic here is a false breakout stochastic. So the yellow dots denote a really strong bullish move. And then when the stochastic pulls back against there in the oversold zone and crosses over, the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend and go and make that fifth wave high. Um, so that's the basic filter. So let's have a look at this setup here. Obviously, we've had the pullback. We found support. Uh, we want the stop loss for our order uh, for this trade just below the wave four low there, about 217.69, something like that. And then our entry needs to be outside of the 6-4 moving average high, the green moving average high here, which is, which is an advanced moving average on our indicator suite, and we use this for entries. But also we want to make sure we're above uh, this uh, big green candle here, the high. Uh, so I've gone for a 224.19 entry. Well, or above the whole 224, it's quite conservative. We probably won't get a trigger today, so it'd probably be Monday unless we have a really big day. Uh, but the main thing is I'll have the order on in case we do. And the risk reward is fantastic into our target zone there. We've got a risk reward of risking 1% between stop and entry for a potential reward of 2.5% on the trading account balance there. So a great risk reward for this very, very simple entry. That's come from our stock scanners membership. Our members get those signals for fifth wave shorts and longs every day on multiple time frames. And this is just one example setting it up on our indicator suite for the ninja trader version from wave5trade.com so that's it for today have a great trading day and i will speak to you all next week